Welcome to the village of Santa Cruz, Jehoa, located in central Honduras. There is incredible poverty in certain parts of the village, and this is where the Tinoco family lives. Lucas and Dilcia have three young children, Oscar, who is eight years old, Stacy, who is six, and Kaylee, who is three. Lucas begins his day gathering fruit, getting it loaded into sacks and attached to his bike for the mile-long ride into town. After reaching the town center, he walks the streets selling his fruit, house to house, store to store, to anyone he can find. Even with a full day of selling fruit, he only brings home six dollars a day on average, and this is barely enough to keep his family fed. They really live in poverty. There's a lot of needs, and the greatest need right now is the need for shelter. They really need a house. They're living in a house right now that's made out of scrap sheet metal. Welcome to the Tenneco's home. It's just a small shack on the outskirts of town. Its dirt floors turn to mud when the rain comes through the holes in the roof. The smoke builds up on the inside as tonight's supper cooks on the handmade wood stove. And there's just one light to help the family see at night, just enough to get by. My husband and I sleep here, and the kids sleep here. He's working, he's doing his best, but with the money he's making, it would take them years in order to save up the money to build a house. Sometimes they're scared in the winter time when the rain comes because they don't know if their poor house, if their little shack is going to fall in because of the pressure of the rain. When it rains, the water can come in from all sides and it gets everything wet. During the summer, they hang their clothes out on the line to dry but in the winter, the rains come and they have to dry them inside the house. But when it also rains inside the house, there's no way to get the clothes dry, and so they become moldy. <laughs> this is where we wash the clothes and where we get our water from. The family bathroom is just this plastic tarp hung up around a banana tree for a little privacy and a small stream nearby to help carry away the waste. A new house would not only provide separate sleeping quarters and a concrete floor, it will also include a separate concrete pad for a real toilet with metal siding and a roof. We pray that the Lord will touch your heart, that the Lord would move you with compassion, that you would help us, help meet the need of this family. We know they're going to be so grateful and so thankful for your response. And we appreciate your help so much as their pastor. This is a family that's always been serving the Lord. And we believe that this is a worthy investment, something that they deserve. We believe God is going to use you. Thank you so much.